Okay, pretty easy one. This is display options. This is simply going to go over what do I want to see on the training screen when we start. Okay, the good thing is all of these panels can be turned on and turned off live from the training screen. Okay, so raw wave, filtered, thermometers, blah, blah, blah. All of these panels, turn them on, turn them off from the training screen live. Okay, this just, if there's specific things you know you want to see, you can pre-check and you know they're going to come up each time. Also, the viewed components. Currently, this particular protocol is training theta, beta, and high beta. But I might want to watch alpha even though there's no feedback on it. I can turn on, other, turn on and off other components for viewing purposes even though they're on ignore. Okay? Now, if you're watching the alpha, the only thing you're doing is every time they're, they're doing alpha waves, you're seeing that they're doing alpha waves. Or you might see a thermometer yeah. representing. Hmm? Or you're not looking at the amplitude. Well, you'd be looking at the amplitude. Yeah, because even the wave, the filter waveform, when you see the waxing and waning, that represents the amplitude of that wave at that moment. Okay. Everybody clear with that? And the thermometer basically refers to a bar graph or a histogram, right? Yeah, bar and graph. Thermal measure. No, no, no. Okay. We call it thermometers just because they look like thermometers. They got a bulb at the bottom telling you plus or minus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You thought they were what? Little teeth. Teeth? There you go. Whatever. You, anything you guys want them to be, they can be. <laughs> just wanted to put that in. Right. Okay. Um, DLL memory mapping mode is new. This gives you the capability of using Z-scores to control third-party games such as like Somatic Vision and Sys and things like that. All we do is we turn events 9 through 16 into components. So for instance, what that means is event number 9, the game thinks it's delta. Event 10, the game thinks it's theta. Because when you look at Somatic Vision's inner tube and you look at their game settings, they don't give you Z-score meets criteria, percent energy meets criteria. It gives you delta, theta, alpha. So if you go ship speed needs to represent you know, theta, then you simply take the Z percent OK, event number five, copy it, which there's a copy button in the event wizard, go to the event 10 and paste it, even though the game thinks it's theta, every time the percent Z OK meets criteria, the ship flies because it thinks theta is meeting criteria. So it was a way for us to hack the game without having the game programmers have to do a bunch of software that they were probably going to struggle to do. They set the game up, they give you these parameters, these tools, these things to grab hold of to control the game. You have to figure out a way to do it. This is how we decided to do it. Okay, if you have a scenario where you can't get your inner tube going or something with Z-scores, give us a call. We'll walk through it. But if you go to the knowledge base, there's a specific article with a step-by-step -step how to build your protocol to drive the game. So either way. Okay. And again, standard means you're not doing it. Emulation means you're turning that capability on. And then we hit OK. Okay.